foodies, welcome to Foodland. Many a times we look for some healthy pre-made snack or breakfast items and you got it, you have it here. So this is called healthy oats muffins. I have made it with bananas this time so and topped it up with multiple flavors. So stay tuned to see how I made this healthy oats muffins. Hey, before that, please like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Thank you. As you've seen, I have uh, greased the mini muffin pan. <laughs> so let's beat two eggs. All right. And this is the rolled oats. Just uh, put it in the grinder and, uh, you know, did the powder. But you can uh, use the, the whole ro rolled oats or cracked oats anything any form is fine but i like the the powdery texture so you know um, get so these these are two cups of uh, oats and i have made the powder so let's add wet ingredients first i'm going to add two eggs one cup of milk you can use any milk this is whole milk but you can use uh, buttermilk, uh, almond milk, soy milk, anything, anything of your choice. So I'm just adding the whole milk here. So let's add one cup of milk. If you like the nutmeg taste, go ahead and add. I have the, I don't, I, I ran out of the fresh nutmeg. I prefer the fresh nutmeg, just grate it uh, on the spot. So I'm just adding the ground nutmeg powder and few dashes of cinnamon powder. Let's add a pinch of salt. You can use kosher salt, sea salt. I'm just using regular salt, just a couple pinches just for that flavor. Now let's add one tablespoon of baking powder whisk this well let's add our oats powder I'm adding two cups of oats So I'm gonna keep this aside and get my bananas. These are my ripe bananas. Make sure you get the you know ripe bananas because they are sweeter. So since we are not adding any sugar content here, we need the ripe bananas here. So I'm going to mash two ripe bananas and mix it in the batter. All right, so my bananas are mashed i have taken two bananas i didn't mash it uh, really nicely because i like uh, bite size you know chunks um, in the in the muffin so i'm just going to keep some of the chunks as is and let's add it now this is our sweetener guys we are not adding any sugar if you feel like adding some more sweetener and if bananas are not sweet enough, then you can add uh, honey, just few tablespoons of honey. So I'm going to taste this batter once uh, I mix it together and then see if I need more sweetener. You can either add one more banana or few drops, a uh, few tablespoons of honey. Or if you're not on diet, you can add maple syrup, or sugar brown sugar coconut sugar anything like that so it depends on what your criteria of making this is so this consistency looks fine to me it's like a pouring consistency and uh, with the baking powder it's going to bake really nicely so let me heat up the oven to 375 degree Fahrenheit 
all right so i think i need one more banana so in total i'm adding three bananas and also going to add three tablespoons of honey just to get the sweetness in the muffin because oats are very bland and uh, we need some kind of taste so make sure you taste it before you pour it in the muffin tray i'm just going to add this whole banana let's mix this and i'm going to show you three ways to make this muffins all right so let's add honey Just three tablespoons are enough because bananas are already there. So three bananas and three tablespoons of honey. It's just perfect. And uh, if you like cinnamon taste, then you can add some more cinnamon. Uh, I like really mild cinnamon taste, so I'm not get, going to add more. Just a couple of dashes. All right, so this, is, this batter is ready and my oven is preheated to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's pour this batter, this batter in the muffin tray and those babies are good to go to bake. All right, so my oven is preheated and my pan is greased, right? Um, so now I'm gonna show you two things. I have this scoop, cute little scoop and uh, I have the ice cream scooper as well. So any of the two we can use it so since my muffin trays are little smaller cups I'm going to use the smaller one and just pour the batter almost full just like so And as I said, uh, I'm going to show you three different types of uh, muffins today. So I have some chopped dates and chopped almonds. You can use um, any chopped fruits like blueberries, strawberries, peaches or anything. Or uh, in the dry fruits, you can use walnut, cashews, raisins, anything. Right, so I'm just going to top it up with some flavors. All right, so as you can see, I have my dates, banana, oats, muffin, and these are almond muffins, and these are just plain banana muffins. So here you go. These are all cute little muffins, and uh, they are ready to get baked and uh, I'm going to put this tray in 375 degree Fahrenheit heated oven uh, for about 15-20 minutes or until I see it's turning golden brown all right so while my mini muffins are baking I have the leftover batter and I have poured it in a big muffin tray and topped it up with some fresh peaches just like so. All right, so this tray is out of oven now. It took only 10 to 12 minutes to bake this. Since they are like mini muffins, they baked pretty quickly. So here are my mini muffins and let me show you how beautiful they look. Alright, so once it's cooled down, I removed it from the muffin tray and keep it in the container so that you know we all can eat whenever we want. Look at this. Let me 
Sorry. Got it. It's so soft and easy to eat. Look at this. You can apply some peanut butter or almond butter or you know um, any kind of jelly if you want but they are yummy as is just beautiful breakfast have it give it to kids with milk and it's perfect so i hope you enjoyed this recipe and uh, hope you are going to give it a try and uh, let me know in the comment box if you do so Thank you so much for watching this recipe and just stay tuned for the next one. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and goodbye. And hey, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.